The Gods Must Be Crazy is a 1980 South African comedy film written and directed by Jamie Uys. Financed only from local sources, it is the most commercially successful release in the history of South Africa's film industry. Originally released in 1980, the film is the first in the Gods Must Be Crazy series. Set in Botswana, it tells the story of Zai, the show of the Kalahari Desert whose tribe has no knowledge of the world beyond. A film is followed by one official sequel and three unofficial sequels produced in Hong Kong. Plot Zai and his sand tribe are living well off the land in the Kalahari Desert. They are happy because of their belief that the gods have provided plenty of everything, and no one among them has any wants. One day, a Coca Cola bottle is thrown out of an airplane and falls to earth unbroken. Initially, Zai's people suppose this strange artifact is another present from the gods and find many uses for it. But unlike anything that they have had before, there is only one glass bottle to go around. With everyone wanting it at once, they soon find themselves experiencing envy, anger, and even violence. Since the bottle has caused the tribe unhappiness, Zai consults with elders and conclude that it's an evil thing, which the gods were absent-minded to send them. Noting that some attempts to dispose of the bottle have failed, Zai agrees to make a pilgrimage to the edge of the world and toss the seemingly cursed thing off. Along the way, he encounters a diverse assortment of people. There's biologist Andrew Steen, who is studying the local animals. Kate Thompson, the newly hired village school teacher. A band of guerrillas led by Sam Boger, who are being pursued by government troops after an unsuccessful attack. A safari tour guide named Jack Hind. And Steen's assistant and mechanic, Mpudai. When hungry Zai happens upon a corral, he shoots a goat with a tranquilizer arrow. He is shortly jailed for this attempt on livestock. Mpudai, who once lived with the San and still speaks Sai's dialect, concludes that Sai will die if kept incarcerated. He and Steer Napoli to employ Sai as a tracker for the remainder of his sentence in lieu of prison. Meanwhile, the guerrillas invade Kate's school and take her and the students as human shields for their escape to the neighboring country. Steen, Mpudai, and Zai soon discover their field work is on the terrorists' chosen path. They manage to immobilize the guerrillas as they are passing by and save Kate and the children. With Zai's term over, Stian insists upon paying his wages and sending him on his way. Stian begins a relationship with Kate despite his acute clumsiness around women. Zai eventually finds himself at the top of a cliff with a solid layer of low-lying clouds obscuring the landscape below. This convinces Zai that he has reached the edge of the world, and he throws the bottle off the cliff. Zai then returns to his tribe and receives a warm welcome from his family. Cast, N. Kshawa Zai, Marius Weyers as Andrew Steen, Sandra Prinsloo as Kate Thompson, Michael Thiz as Mpudai, Lavia Wei as Sam Boga, release, The Gods Must Be Crazier was released in South Africa in 1980 by Stakinka Pictures. It became a box office record breaker in that country. For the film's overseas release, the original Afrikaans dialogue was dubbed into English, and voiceover work was provided for. Kung and TSWANA lines. At the time, it broke all box office records in Japan and it broke all box office records for a foreign film in the United States. In mid November 1986, the Gods Must Be Crazier was released on video cassette in the U.S. by CBS Fox through their Playhouse video label. Reception Based on 19 reviews, The Gods Must Be Crazy has carried a 95% fresh score on Rotten Tomatoes. Film critic Roger Ebert gave the film three stars out of four, and said, in his conclusion, that it might be easy to make a farce about screwball happenings in the desert but it's a lot harder to create a funny interaction between nature and human nature. This movie's a nice little treasure. Aftermath Despite the films having grossed over $100 million worldwide, N.C. Florin Kshaw reportedly earned less than $2,000 for his starring role. Before his death, UYS supplemented this with an additional $20,000 as well as a monthly stipend. Extras The film claims the guerrillas attacked the state of Bairali, Yet on the zoomed in map, it appears to be in the general area of Zaire or Angola. When the rebels attack, 
both the Zaire and Angola flags are clearly visible in the council chambers. The guerrillas are trying to flee by land through Botswana to Mozambique. Mozambique and Angola are both Portuguese colonies so this makes sense. However, Botswana does not share a border with Mozambique. References External links, Jamie Say Treffer, Met UYS, Jar Euro Die Wireld In, and article from the Rapport Weekly, which contains an interview with the film's stars and producer Boyet Trisky, The Gods Must Be Crazy at All Movie, The Gods Must Be Crazy Full Episode at Crackle, The Gods Must Be Crazy Film Trailers at FilmAndFavorites.com, The Gods Must Be Crazy Full Episode at Hulu, The Gods Must Be Crazy at the Internet Movie Database. Box office information at the numbers, the gods must be crazy at Rotten Tomatoes.